Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mortal Brawl of Forex. Now as you can see over here, I did do a little bit of, um, well, messing around. I've been working on the, uh, matter of a MRV missile. Basically, I want a two-stage missile. And I've been working on that concept, so I did have to do a little bit of research here just to see if I could get this uh, to work. I've also upgraded the missile launcher reload rate. Now, those are really cheap technologies, and I did not just want to waste, like, two hours just to test this subject. So, I hope you guys will forgive me for that one, but, uh, either way, it's not any way game-breaking. It just brings a, well, size 6 launcher's reload down to about 30 seconds, which is exactly... It's, it's not exactly deadly, you know what I mean? It's okay. But anyway, so this is what I've been looking at for my concept of a MRV missile, one of the warheads within the missile. So it's a size 6, it only moves at 20,000 kilometers per second. Um, now this is a problem with our engine technology at the moment. What I'd have to do is uh, dramatically increase the uh, missile engine's, well, power really. We'd have to boost the engine's power, but that would obviously decrease the amount of fuel that we'd have. So this baby has a strength of 4, which is pretty nice, it'll do uh, decently well in numbers, which is the idea here. We have a maneuver rate of 18, so it's not great, but at least it's something. It has a okay chance, like, 36% chance is okay-ish. We haven't really met anything going that fast yet, the closest we've met is about 9,000 kilometers per second. Uh, so not too bad. It has no sensors, however, and it is a little bit hard for me to fit them on right now. I'd have to decrease the, um, well, increase my warhead strength technology to get something better. But yes, um... This baby will work out okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the MRV over here. I have a fire streak, which is one I designed earlier. I believe that one does have some sensors. I'll have to take a look at that one later on. And then we have the actual MRV, uh, basically the thing to carry it. Uh, but I do believe I'm going to make a larger one, a uh, size 10 one, actually. Okay, so we'll call this the... Um... Ooh. Size 1 ASM. It's called, I'll just nickname this one the Firecaster. Okay, so we'll create that project in there. There we go. Now, I may have to do some other research. Let's see. Missiles. Okay, so here we go. Now, that is a size 6 launcher, but I think I'm going to get rid of that and instead have a... Well, I don't know, actually. Um, I'll research this one, and we'll see how it works out. I believe it's a finished concept, though I do want to kind of change the uh, missile loaded, but we'll see how it turns out. So what do we have in terms of research labs? Not much, really. Okay, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Let's just uh, get rid of these projects for now. Freeze of the scientists as well. Okay. There we go. Put some people onto that project. Other than that, we are still working on retooling for the Mercury. And we're still building our arc. So not too bad overall. Our worlds are growing at a nice rate, which is fantastic. Lupical Prime has uh, definitely grown quite a lot. And we do have a good population here, 124 million uh, citizens. Good amount of uh, minerals, though we do need to find more minerals. That is something that we always, always, always need to find. Which is why I'm currently exploring, to be honest. Indeed, I do need to find more sources, really. And, um, well, we're going to have to set up, um... Well, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to design a more efficient cargo. I've already designed one, but it's quite large, and obviously because it's large, it's going to burn a lot of fuel due to the fact it's having to move a lot of mass. So, if I design a smaller one, just enough, uh, well, basically like a mineral carrier. Just like a, uh... 
cargo for minerals, that sort of thing. I suppose I can't think of what you'd call it. Um, hmm. Can't think of a term for something like that. Just want to carry metals and stuff like that. Then at least we could make it as efficient as possible. It does not have to be fast. As long as it's efficient, then that's fine. It could do runs back and forth. I believe there is a certain way you can tell it, like, hey, go over here and pick up X amount when there's X amount on the planet. So what I'll do then is I'll probably set that up. It does not need to have a jump engine due to the fact that we have those jump gates con well, constructed, so that's good for us. Okay. <clears throat> I do like how their morale is increased, and that's pretty good. Right, so we finished that concept. Can I take a look at it? Um... Right, we'll go to Earth. Can we bring it back up? That's why I always find it a little bit annoying that you can't really bring these designs back up once they're designed. It's a little bit irritating in that fashion. Or at least I just don't know how to do it. Uh, so what I'll do then is I'll go over to... Um... Hmm... Well, what we'll do then is we'll design the other one. Well, we'll research the other one, I should say. Right, we'll get the Firecaster. How long went by there? 30 days, okay. Ship has been scrapped. Okay, only 44 days left. Not that long. Should be done before we know it. And then at least we can start to, uh... Terraform Stru 398. 2398, I should say. Mm -hmm. But yes, the concept is with these missiles. Instead of firing out, like, one single ASM, which is um, undoubtedly more efficient, really, can make it faster, and etc, etc. Uh, what I'd like to do is, um, I think I'm going to design much longer range sensors and longer range missile fire control. So the concept will be that we'll fire these missiles into the system. We'll have what is um, a listening boat, or whatever you want to call it. Basically a scout ahead of the force, which will act as a scout. So then what we'll do is we'll fire these missiles out. They travel only 20,000 kilometers per second, which is, uh, is pretty mad. Actually, no, I think the Merv itself might travel at 15. I forgot the exact speed. But the concept is we fire them. They get near to their target. They separate out with the warheads. And then the warheads will travel the required distance, and then they'll all impact at the same time. And the idea is by splitting up the warheads into, well, splitting up the missile into different warheads, it's harder to shoot down, and therefore we can try to do more damage. Now, we won't have the um, same kinetic impact. I'm not entirely sure if we would or not if they all impact at the same time. But that's something that we can find out. At last, we've finally retooled for the Mercury. Ah, huzzah. Huzzah. I mean, is there anything else I could improve on the Mercury before I set one for being built? I don't think we've developed any other technology since then. Um... No, it seems to be okay. Though I may uh, change out the sensor. Let's see. It's key to identifying targets about a thousand tons, but I think I might up it to maybe 1,500 or maybe 2,000 tons, something like that. And then at least we can increase the actual range at which we detect things. 
there's not much, but you have your FACs, your first attack craft at uh, 1,000 tons maximum. But how often do we see FACs? Not too often. It depends, really. I get why we need them, because there's always that chance that you're going to come up against a FAC, and you won't be able to detect it until it's too late. Though, we will have the other ships to detect things like that, so I think if the Mercury has a larger sensor, then at least we can see quite a lot further. I think that may help us out. But, um... To save time, I consider this is going to take four almost five years to build. I'm gonna start prefabricating some parts now, so we're gonna go for the engines. We'll get those engines churned out and we'll be good. I'll wait for that uh, sector to command to be finished first. Right, so prefab ship component. Need these engines. I'm going to need about eight of them due to that I'm going to be building two of these warships on the same shipyard. Right, there we go. And... We'll go for the weapons. So we'll need the 15 centimeter lasers. God damn, I need to clean this up. <laughs> it, it is just a little bit hard to see, isn't it? Right, we have our quads over here. We do need to change the um, wavelength they work on, but we'll do that in the future. And there's only three of them on each of them, so we can have six there we go. But we'll start to work on the engines first due to the fact that they are the largest part of the design. In fact, what I can do is I can go into the design of the Mercury. We can uh, prefabricate the large parts. So, component summary. So, next is a compressed um, carbon armor, then uh, fuel. But even the fuel, that's only 5% of our design. The vast majority is the magnetic fusion drives, and then the weapons. But that makes up the largest part of the ship. It's incredible how much it makes up. So it should be good like that then. Indeed. Right, that's going to be done in about 14 days, so just over two weeks. And we completed that research into the technology of the Firecaster. So, we'll head over and... Whoops. Check our designs. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this, and, uh, I'll try and decide what, uh, size I want to have it. I might make it a size 10 missile so we can carry more ordnance. It depends, really. But fuel capacity here, so with this engine we'd have an insane range. Almost a billion, but we'll try out the uh, Firecaster. No. Put four in there. So if 4, you can see here that's impacted it already. Now, let's see. Well, you can see here, of course, we'd only move at uh, 5,400 kilometers per second. Not great. Not great. So. Let's go for 0.5 and let's um, increase the size of this missile then. So if I have uh, 6 engines, I can achieve 20,000 kilometers per second. Now, if I can reduce this amount of fuel down, which is going to cause us issues due to the fact that we're um, losing a lot of that range. So, what do I want? Do I want range? Or do I want to be able to carry more warheads? I think more warheads makes this missile worthwhile, I, just, um, I suppose you could say. It's about... Ooh. There we go. So get 81 million... So we can add another missile there. It reduces the amount... Well, it reduces the speed that we reach. So we'd only have about 73.6 million kilometers. But the fact is we'd be able to carry six of these missiles. And that's quite a lot. I mean, we have six, so six times four. Yeah. Now, um, am I going to be able to do more damage with this? Perhaps. Well, it depends really. I mean, if we were launching missiles that did like 12 or whatever, 15 each, obviously that'd be more efficient. But the fact is they're easy. Well, easier to be destroyed. So I'll try... yeah. So 6 times 4 we get 24 damage in a volley. 
uh, what is our missile now? It's like... Is it 12? Is it 12? Maybe 16? Something like that. So, it's a slower system, but it's a more advanced system. <coughs> and it's new. I think it's something that we ought to try. It makes... Makes for, uh, for more fun, really. Okay, separation range. So it's currently set to about uh, 150,000 kilometers. Uh, which could very well be in range of some PD and laser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase that to... Um, 500,000 kilometers. So at 500,000 kilometers from the target, it'll uh, separate. The missiles will fire. And at 500,000 kilometer range, they're going to be able to get close to that target. That target would have to be traveling faster than the missile to get away. Obviously, the fact is, um, the, it depends on the range of the lasers. It really does depend on the range of the lasers. Right. So we'll call this uh, the uh, size 10 fire custom move. Um, MRV. Firecaster. And um, have the range there, so 73. Hmm. Then again, do I want to drop the speed a little bit? Right. If I drop it to. Hmm. I'd have to drop it significantly to get another missile in there. Um, I mean, if I drop it, we can get seven in there. I could drop the amount of fuel again. So we've lost half of our speed here. Is that really worth it? I suppose it is, because it, these missiles... Unless they're being targeted by AMMs, it's not going to matter too much. So it could have, like, two kinds of these things. Like, this could possibly be used against them. Um, well, the, the beauty is we could, like, basically send these towards the planet. And if they had sensors of their own, which we could add in the future, I believe the other MERV I designed had missiles with sensors. Hmm. Is it worth it? Ah... <sighs> It's hard to decide, really. I mean, we'd do more damage, but it's going to take longer for that missile to get there. Hmm. More chance of getting shot down. So we'll go for six, then. It's a, it's a huge shake-up just to gain uh, another missile. We did save that in there, didn't we? Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Well, if I'm going to be using... I don't know. A size 10 launch is pretty huge. It is pretty damn big. So I think we'll design a size 10 variant, which we already have, and a size 6 variant as well. So... I mean, I could just have two there, but that's... Uh, I mean, it would make the missile faster, but that's not really what I care for. So what we'll do then is we'll try and work this out. So we'll have this at 5-0, just so I can have it at a nice flat value. So we're at 2.5 now. Okay. If I add 10 engines, 20 engines, we get 22,000. Well, I want this missile to carry... We'll carry four firecasters. Okay. Am I going to have more luck with this? I think I would do. Yeah, so you can see here that range is significant. It's slow, but it has a lot of range. So I could add two of them. If I drop the amount of fuel... Right. 
611. Right, so this one million. Yeah, not great, is it really? Hmm. Actually, yeah, we'll wait until we have better propulsion technology. Well, not tech. Well, actually, no, I need to research that at some point. Actually, um. Engine power, that's what I'm thinking of. Engine power, here we go. Yeah, see, I've not even changed this at all. I've never even, like, researched it. So we'll do that now. Try and build better missile engines. And overall, just having better missile engines would improve our ASMs, our AMMs. So it's honestly a research that we should pursue. I, I'm going to uh, be interested to see where this this line of technology could take us. Okay, I was just thinking that did I actually tell the um, shipyard to start working on the Mercury? I didn't because I'm going to prefabricate the components. But then again, ah no, right? I'll prefabricate those components, uh, at least the engines and the weapons. And uh, then I think we'll begin construction. It'll be interesting to see how much time we take off the uh, construction cycle. Hmm. Indeed. So, two of them being worked on at once. Ah, there we go. The Argos has completed the jump gate. Great. So we now have two in this solar system. Morale's increased over here. Fantastic. Training. Good. Right, so we've finished the Sector Command. Now, where is the Sector Command? It's up here somewhere, I do believe. Right, that's Geological Survey. Ah, here we go. Right, Science System to Sectors. So we have Earth Sector. Capital. Possible Systems is 6. Okay. What the heck? That's interesting. Colour. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I suppose we'll go with Blue. Sector Blue. We'll sign these systems over here. Now, interestingly, I can't have Phoenician in here. Is that due to this? Now, how would we increase that radius, I wonder? Not so sure. We'll call this the um, inner systems, like maybe the inner core. Hmm. Deep core. Our core worlds. We'll call this the core worlds. For now, anyway. Right. So they've been assigned. Now, does this change on the uh, galaxy map? It doesn't seem so. I suppose it's just the fact that we can assign a commander. So I imagine we'll need a civilian. Populations and sectors. Right, governor of the core worlds. Awesome. Ah, what would we want to have? Population wouldn't be a bad idea. Factory production. We'll go for mining and population. Okay, you. Mining bonus is 40. Population growth is 20. 30, 35, that's pretty good actually. 
Yeah, okay. So Felix will be the governor of the core worlds. There we go. Fantastic. So now... If we check over on Earth... Mining. Governor bonus is 1.29. One by five zero five. Indeed. Geranium. Surely I'll have enough geranium. We'll have to see about that one. Okay, so Argus can return to Earth. That's fine by me. Off you pop to Earth there, my friend. Okay. How are we going on Earth with this construction and this prefabrication? Right. I do wish it carry on once it was started. It's just that, like, waste of time. But, oh well. We'll make do. Hmm. I do wonder how long this will take us. Well, what I'd like to do with these missiles, basically, is fire a few of them off towards Proxima Centauri. And then, possibly by the time we come into contact with the enemy, we already have a few of these missiles that have already been launched. Then they can be guided in on the enemy. So then, kinda, we get like a double, like a double whammy, in a way. Well, it's basically like a free attack. They've been fired beforehand, and uh, they could hopefully be guided. So they're already in the air. They're already in the water, I suppose you could say. Before the enemy even knows we've approached. I mean, we have seen that we're able to detect the enemy from a certain range, without being detected ourselves. Now, the new Mercury's, oh wow, that's a lot, uh, would be interesting just that they have larger engines, so their thermal signature is going to be higher. So perhaps I'll keep them separate from the main fleet, just so we can avoid that giving away the rest of the ships. Okay, how goes fabrication? <sighs> That's gonna take some time. These are large components. Yeah, I mean we have 13,000 points here, you can imagine how much that take usually. And Kolika. So we have 90 mines here. Uh, Bernard Star. Okay, Bernard. We don't have much here, so I think what we might do then is... Um, construction factories. They're fairly cheap, so if I can build about 10 of these babies, then at least we can start to improve our construction values over here, and um, ultimately speed it up. What is the tolerance for the aliens, I wonder? That's something I do need to check. Because if I exterminate them, I'm not going to have any workers. Ah, uh, ideal. Okay. Right. So it's incompatible with ours then. So I think we'll stop the... I don't know. We'll stop the terraforming for now. At least until it becomes a planet that's sustainable. In installations, basically. I'd need people to work this. Right, so we'll cancel the terraforming now. I'd rather not commit genocide. At least until they do not prove to be useful anymore. Which is kind of dark, but this is how uh, it goes. So, we are approaching the end of the episode, so thank you guys for watching so very much. 
I do believe I'll carry on for another episode, though, because I'm in the mood for it. So if you've enjoyed this, do go ahead and subscribe. Goodbye for now.